Hello all, welcome to Oracle Cloud Technical Trainings. In this session, we'll discuss about how do we install an ICS on-premise agent. We'll just try to understand what is agent and what how do we install and what is the use of it. Yeah, so what exactly agent is all about? So agent is kind of a runtime environment which enables you to connect on-premise applications with the cloud applications i mean to say let us say you have an oracle cloud erp and you want to access a database which is available on premise then what happens is like you know if you want to integrate these two systems what you can do is see cloud provides some set of web services and in the database you will have access to tables assume that you want to upload some data from cloud erp into on premise database so we, you cannot do it directly even though your on-premise database provides web services you cannot do it directly so the option for this one is what happens is you just need to install a runtime environment it is called ics agent on the system where your database is installed and so in the agent you have to mention which integration which what is your integration instance because like when you subscribe to ics you can find a number of like uh, oracle provides around two or three instances for you and so in the ICS, once you get the ICS runtime environment file, you just need to configure to which instance you want to you want to you know, to which particular ICS instance you want to configure. Mention the credentials and run your ICS and run your agent environment so that using your ICS integration, you can connect cloud to the on-premise one. It can be any cloud to any on-premise. So I just took an example of Oracle Cloud ERP, but you can do integration between on-premise of any kind of application with any kind of cloud application okay so if you want to connect cloud to cloud there is no there is no need of any agent agent is required only when you want to perform an integration between or else simple thing is if you want to get something from your on-premise you require an agent so that's what it is all about so yeah so this is one of the other scenario and you can find one more scenario also let me get yeah so so using ICS, what happens is like ICS is a platform which Oracle provides, agent which sits, off, sits on your local system. Using your ICS agent, what you can do is you can connect to your on-premise ERP, you can connect to your any of the on-premise SOA applications on, or else you can also connect to your on-premise databases, right? Now, so how do we install, right? So how do we install, where is the navigation, all those things, right? We'll just get into that directly. So once you log into your cloud uh, ICS instance, what you can do is, yeah. So let's go there. So I'm just going to my cloud instance. Yeah, maybe I can just type it directly. Yeah. So this is my cloud instance, integration cloud instance, right? So let it open. Sometimes it will take much time. Now here, if you observe, I'm in the designer section. Once you get into cloud, you can find out that you have a different set of navigations here. One is designer, monitoring and settings. So click on designer settings. In the designer, just click on agents. In the agents, you have an option called download. Okay, just download, click on download connectivity agent. So it will generate a zip file, right? So once you once it generates a zip file, I mean, once it downloads a zip file, extract it, extract the zip file, you'll, have, you'll find these set of contents inside this. Okay, to execute this particular jar file, the prerequisite is you require JDK 1.8. At least JDK 1.8 is required. Okay, so now what is the next step you can do is open this configuration file. So in the zip file, you'll find these files, extract it. In this one, you'll find a CFG file, open this one. And here, though, there are only two things you have to modify one is OIC URL, and another one is agent group. So here I mentioned the agent group as test. So why I have mentioned the agent group as test? Because if you observe in my ICS integration, I mentioned the agent group as test. So first of all, you have to create your ICS agent. Let us say, I'll just say test2 is my agent name. I'll just click on create, right? And I'll just stop the existing one so that I'll not confuse you. Okay, I just ex stop this one. Now I just created the agent. Agent is not active now, right? Agent is not active. So what you can do is go to your OIC connectivity agent, open the configuration. So already we have seen this information, right? Open the configuration. Now I'll just mention the agent group identifier as test2. We doesn't need to enter any proxy related information because you're not running on a proxy. If at all, if you're running your ICS agent on a proxy server, then you have to mention your proxy details also. 
now i'll just go to the location where my agent is installed first of all always check the version so in my system my version of java is 1.8 okay so now next thing is java hyphen jar mention this particular jar file right connectivity agent dot jar run this one it will ask you to the credential of your oic so i'll just say mention my credentials of oic now this should run it if it doesn't run it check the error and try to rerun it okay so generally it takes around couple of minutes to seconds generally i what i know is it takes one minute to start once this gets started yep you could see that you know like this will become active right and you should see at least show that the agent is one here not yet the agent started successfully now available for messages yes yes so it is working correctly now that's it so this is how you can configure your agent so then what is the need of this right so the basic need of agent is to connect your on-premise application it can be a file look file can be it can be a file location it can be database application it can be anything so i just show you one more few more examples here like now let us say i have my agent if i want to connect to my local database how do i do it right so i'll just go to connections i'll just show you the existing connection which i created so i'll click on hr database connection so in this one here if you observe i am connecting to my oracle database connection which is there on on premise right so here what we do is we have to mention the agent so this is where you need to you make use of your your agent now i'll just click on configure agent so here i'll just select the existing one and this is how you can use the existing agent right let me show you one quick thing to create a database connection right i'll just say database Oracle database you can search select now HR new HR new DB connection HR new DB connection trigger right so now it is asking me the host details I'll just mention local host port is 1521 SI days XE username password of my database schema right hr is my username schema name now mention the agent click on configure agent so it has to mention something like by default it will provide you agent if it doesn't provide just click on use right click on it again right now test is available just click on test now save it click on test right that's it so this is how you can configure agent i mean configure a database connection using an agent so similarly you can create your file adapter connections also or maybe some other third party databases connection which agent provides so very simple so in this particular session we know we could understand that you know like how do you download an agent as well as how do you configure the agent so the only configuration required for agent is you require java runtime environment of at least 1.8 and in the cfg file just make sure that you mention your agent name as well as mention the url of this one so here in this url if you observe the url i mentioned port number is 443 so by default when you access the url you don't see that 443 if you have seen carefully you don't see that 443 but you have to mention this 443 port number carefully okay so this is a sample cfg file which i have used it thank you